when a baby is born, they start with approximately 30,000 taste buds. And this number decreases as they grow. And by the time they reach adulthood, most people have around 10,000 taste buds on their tongue. Our ability to taste different flavors improves despite having fewer taste buds. It's because our taste buds regenerate more slowly as we age. The ones that remain are more sensitive to a much wider range of flavors. Taste buds can be found in a variety of locations, including the roof of your mouth, on your cheeks, and even on your epiglottis. That's a flap that prevents food from entering your windpipe. Taste buds are classified into four types. Sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. However, there is a fifth category to flavor. It's known as umami. It's a savory and meaty flavor. Approximately every 10 to 14 days, a new set of taste buds emerges. Some people are born with a refined sense of taste, while others just don't have it. These people are known as super tasters because they have more taste buds than most people. They can taste flavors that most people simply can't. Children are actually born with a sweet tooth, and that's what causes them to crave their mother's milk and even makes them feel better when in pain. They like sweeter foods than adults do, and when they stop physically growing in adolescence, their taste buds shift to match those of adults. And as we get older, we lose a lot of our taste buds, and by the time we're adults, there will only be about 10,000 taste buds left. Despite the fact that the average adult's taste buds grow every two weeks, some foods may no longer taste as strong as they used to. A 2015 study in the United Kingdom asked 2,000 adults when they first became interested in strong-flavored foods like pickles, garlic, spinach, oysters, asparagus, and horseradish. Until they were in their early 20s, most people did not like these things. They considered them adult foods. Garlic's pungent aroma, pickles, tangy flavor, and spinach's earthy vibes. They're just a few examples of strong flavors that may take time to master. It's important to remember that culture and environment can both have an impact on when we like something. And there's no denying that the number of taste buds in our mouths has a direct impact on what we like and what we like to eat. The sensation of sourness can cause your mouth to pucker, whereas bitterness can be astringent. After the age of 40, taste bud ability gradually deteriorates. And as a result, by your 30s, your taste buds are usually fully developed with an amazing flavor profile, or they're somewhere as close to it. It's fascinating to think about how our taste buds change over time and how that affects the flavors that we prefer. It's important to remember, though, that certain medications like antibiotics and blood pressure medications can change the number and sensitivity of our taste buds. This has the potential to alter our sense of taste. People who have lost their sense of smell due to conditions like anosmia may also lose their sense of taste. It's because our sense of smell influences how we perceive food. The rich aroma of coffee or the smooth texture of chocolate can significantly enhance our sensory experience. Finally, taste buds have been developed for robots, believe it or not, and machines. It actually helps in food production, food quality inspection, and the development of new food products. It's absolutely amazing to sit back and think about how important our taste buds are to us on a daily basis and how they change and adapt over time. If we understand how our taste buds work, we can enjoy the taste of foods that we like, and we can even learn to like new ones. If we take care of our taste buds, we can keep our sense of taste extremely sharp for many years to come. These are Interesting Things with J.C.